Hello, I'm Dr. Terry Simpson. The Paleolithic diet it presumes that foods eaten during the Stone Age or the Paleolithic era, which occurred about two and a half million years ago to 10,000 years ago, are optimal foods for humans. Did they, in fact, have the answer to prevent modern diseases such as the Holy Trinity of diabetes, obesity, and coronary artery disease? Well, proponents of the Paleolithic diet think so. But as you probably know, trying to talk to someone about their lifestyle or diet changes is one of the other things that we must add to things not to discuss in polite company. If you have someone who has a strong tendency toward a lifestyle surrounding a diet, don't talk to them about diets, don't talk to them about religion, and don't talk to them about politics. We'll throw out that convention here. Here are some of the flaws with the paleo diet premise. Number one, we now know from fossilized record that in the Paleolithic era, people were grinding flour, probably as early as 30,000 years ago, maybe at an earlier time than that. We know that human beings are meant for a wide variety of foods. Look at our jaws. They are small, meant to eat more things like meat and fish, which paleo people would agree. But think about it. The people of the sub-Saharan Africa, where during the Paleolithic era the human beings Homo erectus were before they broke out, weren't used to eating whale blubber. They weren't used to eating Arctic char. They weren't used to eating seals. And yet Eskimos, clearly, are able to eat all of those things, a very high-fat diet, although they'd say they exclude dairy and grain and all that. But certainly, the diet that the Eskimos have not only prevents them from having heart disease, but works pretty well. Still, the proponents of the Paleolithic diet will say that, that they are somewhat of a hunter-gatherer society and would fit in, and human beings are not. Although anybody who has tried to hunt and gather in any major city for groceries would have to disagree. The bottom line is this. There isn't anything inherently bad or difficult about the Paleolithic diet. If you want to follow along the Paleolithic diet, avoid everything in the center of your grocery store and only shop on the periphery of the grocery store where you find fruits, vegetables, as well as the meat counter, the fish counter. You might want to avoid the dairy counter and you certainly would want to avoid the bakery, but everything in the middle you clearly want to avoid. The bottom line is nothing inherently bad, but the premise of the Paleo diet it clearly falls in the sphere of religion. But I have to give this to those who, pro, who uh, are proponents of the paleo diet. At least you believe in evolution. That's a step forward. For your doctor's orders, and to leave a comment, please go to yourdoctorsorders.com. I'm Dr. Terry Simpson. Good day.